Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Monojoy. Today we are doing integration question number one till question number five. In this we are doing the basic integration. This the students who are just doing integration for first time. What is integration? This antiderivative. So before starting this topic, I would like to say this: how we can do the differentiation because the antiderivative means like uh, we have to reverse the differentiation. So I give first example here, d upon dx with one example here, I want to write x cube. And I want to also differentiate x cube minus two. I want to also differentiate x cube uh, plus three. I want to also differentiate x cube uh, minus under root five. So uh, like here, I have written here four examples, d upon dx d upon dx and d upon dx so first of all i just want to check uh, the solve first the result of this differentiation like all four so now so let's start okay the first differentiation is coming when we differentiate x cube is coming 3x squared and when we do the differentiation of this part we do this three uh, like x cube will become 3x squared and the minus 2 is 0, so we don't need to write anything here. When we differentiate this x cubed plus 3, it's still coming 3x squared. And the 3 differentiation is 0, so I don't need to write here. So here, when I differentiate this part, this is also 3x squared. And minus under root is a constant term, is coming 0 differentiation. So all the results, are like I, I have given four examples, all are having the same results. Okay. Now, what is my target actually? I want to write the same number 3x square and differentiation we have done here. So now what's the integration? Integration means we have to use the sine and the dx and is equals to. So for the integration, normally what we write, we write here the sine with y and dx is equals to whatever is the like what's the formula here i just want to write here okay now what's my target actually uh first of all uh, like if i write the differentiation of this the differentiation of this part it should be uh, like this is uh, all are same all are same all are same here and this is the same example here so when we do the integration antiderivative of this part the result should be coming left hand side so what should i write here should I write x cube or should I write x cube minus 2 or should I write x cube plus 3 or should I write x cube minus 5 minus under root 5 what is the right result so it means when we do the integration when we do the integration we are not sure that what constant term comes here like we are not sure it's coming 0 minus 2 plus 3 or minus under root 5 so we are not sure so that's why we always write here always we write here plus c plus c means it can be 0 it can be minus 2 it can be plus 3 it can be un minus under root 5 it can be anything and that can be solved by like some steps okay this is the reason why we have c here now what's the integration formula first of all when we do the integration please remember we never apply the integration on the constant term. I just write the constant term 3 outside and I write x square inside here, x square and the dx here. And I want to do the integration now. What's the method here? This 3 will remain 3 here. Nothing will be happening here. Okay, multiply x square normally in differentiation what we do we like you have done it in differentiation when we do the differentiation of x suppose q this 3 will become the coefficient okay by multiply and power is reduced by 1 means 3 minus 1 is 2 here is the reverse process the power will be increased by like 1 this is decreased by 1 this is increased by 1 so and here normally power like what power before reducing should multiply so here what we do this two this two what i have to do here is it's very simple when we do the integration here uh x i'm writing here x 
and the power is reducing differentiation here the power will increase like 2 plus 1 okay what's the power 2 plus 1 is 3 whatever the result is coming 3 i will divide the same thing with the denominator the same power and i write here plus c so when we simplify this the 3 and 3 cancel out and your answer is coming the same x cube plus 3 now I would like to write the formula now. For the formula to find the integration is very simple. Whenever you want to do the integration of x power n <coughs> dx, the integration formula is x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Like what you have the power, like n plus 1 means we have done here, like 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 upon 3 and the plus c this is the formula of integration so this is the first step that we have like for the formula to find the integration now i would like to give one example we have like uh, uh, the questions from our book okay the first question we are doing here the first question is when you see the first part a Integration normally what I say we never apply the integration on the constant term here like 2 So it's up to you. I, I don't write 2 here like 2 outside and x cube dx Now 2 is there. I will write 2 outside and x cube means power I have to add it. So x cube means this will become x power 4 upon 4 and plus c and When you want to simplify 2 times 1 into this coming is 1 upon 2 x 4 plus c and we have done it Okay, moving to B part. Okay, B part like uh, minus 5. Any constant term has the differentiation minus 5 with x and plus c. This is fixed. Whenever you have any constant term, the integration is all, always with x. We have to like normally 5 is having x power 0. So it's just remember the integration I just write here. The integration of any of the constant term is always with 1x like 5x plus c okay done next <coughs> when you do c part the integration uh, integration of x power is 1 upon 2 when you have the under root so simply very simple what you have to do 1 upon 2 plus 1 i am just writing this is 3 upon 2 actually when you have plus this this is coming 3 upon 2 so you write 3 upon 2 here and plus c so some students also write like this that's in fraction when the power is 3 upon 2 this 3 upon 2 will become 2 upon 3 here we can write like this is up to you so this is the way we have done it like if i do the second part directly here to part a is coming integration here so when i do the integration the constant of integration is 3x remember okay now 6x uh normally we do not do anything with 6 x squared upon 2 and plus 3x and plus c 2 and 6 cancel out is coming what i am writing here 2 part a answer is coming uh, 3x squared plus 3x and plus c and done it okay next part is 4 was integration of 4 now i am not writing the like integration here is coming 4x plus c so this is the way uh, we have no formula for the product law we have to multiply in c part in c part what you have to do you have to multiply first 3x square and plus 6x and when we do the integration with dx so it's coming what or like what we do 3 will remain 3x cube upon 3 6 will remain 6x square upon 2 and plus c when we simplify this this coming 3 3 cancel out x cube plus like 2 with 6 is 3 x square and plus c and we have done it so this is a way just uh, like very simple in uh, this is also the same you have to write 3 part a what you have to do in 3 part a like first before integration the x square and this should be up so it's x minus 2 okay now what's the integration when we do x cube upon 3 plus x uh, plus 1 power means x minus 1 upon minus 1 and plus c when you simplify this is coming x cube upon 3 this minus plus is minus 
x power like x is 1 minus 1 means you can write x upon 1 upon x and then plus c that okay uh, in the fourth part like uh, a and b are the constant term ax will become ax square upon 2 and b will become bx and plus c and that's it nothing is there here you will write a is ax minus b will remain b x cube upon 3 and plus c that's it very simple integration now moving to question number 5 what's in question number 5 like this is the basic difference integration we are doing here uh, 5 part a is already ready this 2 is 2x or i we normally do not do with anything with 4 but x is x squared upon 2 and minus 3 will remain there x cube upon 3 this is the right way and plus c please don't forget to write plus c so 2x plus 4 upon 2 is 2x squared minus 3 3 cancel is x cube and plus c and thus we have done it uh, in b part uh, what you have to do in b part you have to arrange this first of all x power 4 minus x power minus 2 and then you have to apply the integration with writing the brackets so x power 5 upon 5 minus like power we add minus 2 min plus 1 is minus 1 upon minus 1 and plus c when you simplify this is coming x power 5 upon 5 and minus minus is plus x power minus 1 is 1 upon x and plus c and we have done it in c part like this is not the difficult part but here we remember we are not having any formula with like uh, with power in this situation we have a different formula with the power so here we have to apply a square perfect square formula a square minus 2ab and plus b square so this is very i just need to simplify this is 4x square minus 2 times 2 is 4 this x and this x this x power is 1 this x power is 1 upon 2 so all together is coming 3 upon 2 and this is root and square root cancel is only x so now we apply the integration here <clears throat> so 4 remain 4x cube upon cube 3 minus this is what 4 remain 4 like when we add 3 upon 2 plus 1 like here when we do 3 upon 2 plus 1 is coming 5 upon 2 remember okay it's 5 upon 2 when you take the lcm it's coming 5 upon 2 this 5 upon 2 and here we also write 5 upon 2 or you can write here uh, 2 upon 5 when you write up so it's like uh, is up to you so x square upon 2 and plus c when you move this 5 upon 2 to make it 2 upon 5 this 2 upon 5 will multiply with 5 you can write it directly there is no problem now final answer is 4 upon 3 x cube 4 times 2 is 8 upon 5 x 5 upon 2 and this is 1 upon 2 x square and plus c and we have done it it's very simple and this situation just i give the hint like what we can do x upon under root x and plus 1 upon under root x this x when we move up is coming 1 upon 2 is minus 1 upon 2 so x minus 1 upon 2 like please uh, 1 minus 1 upon 2 is 1 upon 2 <laughs> so this uh, integration of x this so when we move up this is coming 1 upon 2 and is coming x minus 1 upon 2 so now apply the integration here when you do the integration is coming uh, x 1 upon 2 plus 1 is 3 upon 2 so 3 upon 2 writing here is better to write 2 upon 3 direct here reverse okay this is the right method then plus when we add minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 is coming please be careful this is coming like 1 upon 2 so please 1 upon 2 and upon 1 upon 2 better to write just here 2 upon 1 or just 2 and then plus c and that's we have done it so this is the way we have done from question number 1 till question number 5 integration uh, so i hope that uh, this will definitely help you thank you so much and have a nice day